This is my rendition of the solar water heater. What I've got is uh, an old closet door, some cardboard insulation, and I've got the uh, strips of uh, sheathing, zip sheathing, in between my pipes, my copper pipes. I've got uh, what have I got? 60, 60 feet of pipe serpentining back and forth all the way to the top. So what's going to happen is these pipes are going to fit right down in my channels that I've made with my sheathing. They're going to fit right down in there perfectly. Okay. Then, for my heat sink, our uh, aluminum cans that we cut out, we're going to put down under our pipes, under our pipes like that, and when we, when we put our pipes down, go like that and it should give us a nice contact between our copper pipes and our heat sink which is our uh, beer cans. Okay this is how I filleted the beer cans for the solar hot water heater I'm making. Gloves. Definitely got to have gloves on. Okay, I uh, find a vertical line that you can follow. I'm using this seam right here. And slice down through it. It goes pretty easy. Little slice. Then on the other side of the can, halfway between there and there, I already know you can pick another line. It's right between these lettering of the can and the barcode will split my can in. Okay. Make one notch at the bottom. That's where you made your notch, your horizontal notch at the bottom of the can. You stick your tin snips in. You can go pretty fast once you get going. What I did to make our beer cans from this shape to this shape, I don't know if you can see the crease down, it kind of comes out flat like a flattened M. I used the end of one of my pipes here. I put the can underneath. Made sure it's right in the middle. Then I pushed, pushed the pipe down between my sheathing. Okay. Then you spread the can apart using your pipe as your form and just make a crease right along the pipe and the, the aluminum. Just make a sharp crease there and just kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay. And then you have the you have it bent into shape. Okay. 
So it's going to end up having 90 uh, beer can heat sinks on 60 feet of copper. Covered up, topped off with a patio, double pane patio door. Okay, the heat sinks are in place. Contact with the copper copper pipe. I have them strapped down with uh, copper straps. The whole thing strapped down, and it puts a pretty uh, tight seal onto the uh, copper pipe. So I'm ready to paint it. I'm going to paint the whole thing black and uh, put the glass on it and see if it works. Okay, I've got the heat sinks all painted black, ready to put the glass on. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to, it's better to leave these bent up, or I can, I can always put them flat like that. Like, uh, right, I, think, I think I'm going to get a better heat sink with them flipped up like that. We'll see. If not, I can always take it apart and put them down.